Francis Cleveland, A Portrait of Intrigue and Scandal Francis Folsom Cleveland, the wife of President Grover Cleveland, is often remembered for her grace and charm during her time as the First Lady of the United States. However, her life was not without its share of intriguing facts and controversies. In this video, we explore 11 fascinating aspects of Francis Cleveland's life, shedding light on both her positive contributions and the controversies that surrounded her. Fact number 1. Childhood Connection with Grover Cleveland Francis Folsom, born in Buffalo, New York on July 21, 1864, had a childhood connection with Grover Cleveland due to his close friendship with her father, Oscar Folsom. After her father's tragic death in a carriage accident in 1875, Cleveland, then a successful lawyer, assumed a role of mentor and guardian in her life. This unique relationship developed over the years, culminating in their marriage when Francis was just 21 years old. Their wedding, held on June 2, 1886, in the Blue Room of the White House, was a highly publicized event, marking the first time a president married while in office. Number 2. A Young First Lady Frances Cleveland, at age 21, brought a youthful exuberance to the role of First Lady. Her age and vivacious personality made her an instant sensation in the public eye. Her impact was not only confined to social events, she used her influence to advocate for issues such as women's education and welfare. Her legacy as a First Lady is marked by this blend of youthful charm and a serious commitment to societal issues, setting a new precedent for the role of women in the political sphere. Number 3. Fashion and Style Icon As a style icon, Frances Cleveland's influence on American fashion was profound. Her preference for off-the-shoulder gowns and high-neck day dresses set trends nationwide. She also played a role in popularizing the front-facing wedding veil, a departure from the then-common floral coronet. Her fashion choices were widely emulated and reported in the press, and she was often featured in women's magazines of the time. This focus on fashion and elegance added a new dimension to the public's perception of the First Lady, making Frances a trendsetter in true sense. Number 4. Public Proposal by the President Grover Cleveland's marriage proposal to Frances Folsom was a significant event in presidential history. Their relationship began uniquely, as Cleveland was a close family friend and had known Frances since she was a child. The couple's engagement, announced in May 1886, was a sensation, creating a stir in the media and public. They married on June 2, 1886, in the White House's Blue Room, a private ceremony attended by close friends and cabinet members. This marriage was unique for its time, not only because Cleveland was a bachelor president marrying while in office, but also due to the significant age difference between the couple. The marriage brought a youthful energy to the White House and set a precedent in the personal lives of sitting presidents. Number 5. The Baby Ruth Candy Bar Controversy The Baby Ruth Candy Bar, named after President Cleveland's daughter, Ruth, who tragically passed away at a young age, sparked a notable controversy in its time. Introduced by the Curtis Candy Company in 1921, the timing of its launch led to widespread speculation that the candy bar was capitalizing on the popularity of baseball legend Babe Ruth. Despite the company's insistence that the candy bar was named after Ruth Cleveland, many remain skeptical, viewing it as a clever marketing ploy to avoid legal issues with the famous athlete. The controversy over the candy bar's name highlights the intersection of public figures and commercial interests during the early 20th century. Number 6. Return to the White House Grover Cleveland's election to a second, non-consecutive term in 1893, with Frances returning as the First Lady, marked a historic moment in American politics. Their return to the White House was a testament to their enduring popularity and Cleveland's political resilience. Frances, as the First Lady during this period, focused on social welfare issues and played an active role in the White House's social life. Despite the economic challenges of the era, particularly the Panic of 1893, Frances maintained her reputation as a graceful and influential figure in American society. Her work during this term further solidified her legacy as a first lady who balanced traditional roles with progressive social engagement. Number 7. The Long Life of Esther Cleveland 
Esther Cleveland, born on September 9, 1893, holds the unique distinction of being the first child of a sitting U.S. president, Grover Cleveland, to be born in the White House. Contrary to the misconception of an early death, Esther lived a full life. She grew up in the public eye as part of a notable American family and later moved to England after marrying Captain Beau Sanquet, an officer in the British Royal Navy, in 1918. Esther led a relatively private life in England, away from the American political spotlight, and passed away on June 25, 1980, at the age of 86. Her long life, spanning almost the entire 20th century, marked a stark contrast to the shorter life expectancies of her era and allowed her a unique perspective on the changes and developments of the century. Number 8. Resistance to the Suffrage Movement while First Lady, Frances Cleveland was notably silent on the issue of women's suffrage. In an era when the movement was gaining momentum, her lack of public support was seen as a setback by many suffragists. Notably, leaders like Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth Cady Stanton were actively campaigning for women's voting rights during this period. Frances's stance was in contrast to that of other women in similar positions who began to voice their support for the cause. The reasons behind her silence on this pivotal issue have been a topic of historical analysis and debate. Number 9. Kiss with Mother-in-Law. An incident that caught public attention was when Frances Cleveland was reported to have kissed her mother-in-law, Emma Harmon Folsom, in public during a reception at the White House. This event took place in the late 1880s when such displays of affection were not common in public, especially between in-laws. This act, though seemingly trivial by modern standards, was a topic of gossip and debate, illustrating the strict societal norms and expectations of behavior during that era. Number 10. Frances Cleveland's Controversial Remarriage Frances Cleveland's remarriage in 1913, five years after the death of her first husband, former President Grover Cleveland, stirred considerable public interest and debate. Her choice of spouse, Thomas J. A. Preston Jr., was notable as he was a well-respected professor at Princeton University and considerably younger than she was. This age difference, combined with Frances's status as a former first lady, led to varied reactions from the public and the media. The wedding, which took place on February 10, 1913, was a significant social event, drawing attention to the evolving norms and perceptions of widowhood and remarriage in early 20th century America. Frances, who had captivated the nation with her youth and charm during her time as First Lady, continued to be a figure of public fascination with this new chapter in her life. Her remarriage to Preston, who held a distinguished academic position, also highlighted the blending of political, social, and academic circles in the progressive era. Number 11. Rumors of Extramarital Affairs Frances Cleveland, despite her popularity as a First Lady, was not immune to the scrutiny and rumors that often accompany public figures. Throughout her life, especially during her time in the White House and afterward, there were whispers and tabloid speculations about potential extramarital affairs. These rumors, though widely circulated in gossip columns, lacked concrete evidence and were never proven. Nonetheless, they cast a shadow over Francis's otherwise well-regarded reputation. The nature of these allegations and the identities of the supposed paramours remain part of the lore surrounding Frances Cleveland, illustrating the challenges faced by women in the public eye during that era. Number 12. 